NJ family, y'all know how I go. It's your girl Jalen, and I'm back with another cooking video. You guys, by the title of the video, that's the reason why you guys clicked on this video because you guys love my cooking videos. You guys love watching me, and yeah, and yeah, you guys are my supporters. So I love you guys for that. But you guys, we are going to be making some chicken breast. Lemon chicken breast, this is one of my favorites. Also, it's not one of my favorites, but it's helpful for like weight loss. So I really enjoy this meal, it's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna be making chicken breast. I'm going to be making boiled potatoes with the ranch seasoning, and I'm going to be making asparagus, okay? So this is very, you know, healthy, simple, whatever. So if you guys are fit, or you guys wanna get fit, or you guys trying to lose weight, or whatever you guys can make this meal along with me so I have everything in front of me I got most of this stuff from Whole Foods like I told you guys I do enjoy oh shopping at Whole Foods look who's in the picture wow. today hey. 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 so you guys I know y'all been asking Nair cook with Jalen Nair cook with Jalen so here he goes. So you try to put that on me. I was just stopping that. Now you want me? To, <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna stay, y'all. I'm gonna go cook my baby today, y'all. So what yes. we're we today? Like, what are we doing today? This what are we doing? Simple. Yeah. So we're gonna be making some chicken breast, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be making some asparagus, okay. and we're gonna be making some boiled potatoes. Okay. Okay. okay then. So, so what do you want me to do though? All you really have to do is you can cook. I mean, you could cut up the lemon if you want, okay. or you can rinse the chicken. That's easy. Yeah, rinse the chicken. I'm gonna okay. rinse my fingers real quick too because your you fingers know, are dirty, boy. I know when I was just playing. Pool. Yeah. Just playing pool. So our house tour is coming very soon. If you guys aren't subscribed to our main channel, make sure you guys go do that. We will link the links in the description below. So make sure you guys go support us over there. We're on the road to three million. But you guys, so we have some olive oil. Like I told y'all in the last cooking video, I love to cook with olive oil. It's good. We have the main ingredients. We got some chicken breast. We, we got, got some chicken, chicken breast. breast. We, we got, got some chicken breast. We <laughs> so we got some chicken breast. Bae's going to open this up and he's going to rinse it very well. Right, mm -hmm. right, 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 right. Okay, so this is this um, off your hands. This is the organic uh, chicken breast. It's from Whole Foods. You guys can get it at Kroger's. You guys can get it at Walmart. Whatever you prefer. Um, it's no special way, but I really like to go to home, Whole Foods. So we got some lemon pepper. Like I told y'all, I love cooking with some lemon pepper. Okay. You gotta have the lemon pepper, but you can't forget about the black pepper. Black pepper. The, and then we have some thyme, thyme, whatever y'all want to call it. Uh, this is good flavoring as well and then we got some minced garlic like i said in the last video again i love cooking with minced garlic it's like an onion to me we got some sea salt i like cooking with the sea salt better mm -hmm. and then we have some lemons some lemon is gonna make our mouth like mm -hmm. so uh this is honestly like a this is honestly like a dressing for your chicken i really like to eat fried lemons it's so weird but then we have some asparagus. These be hitting. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. So I'm starting to like these. I'm starting to like those. Ladies. Those are really good. And then we have some red potatoes. These are Idaho potatoes. And then I usually put like ranch seasoning on them when they're boiling, so they don't just be all plain. But we're gonna get started to this. I'm super ready. You ready? I'm ready. You baby. ready? You I'm ready. ready? You ready? So how you do ready? I open up? Y'all told you I don't not cook. So how do I open up this? I just cut it so open you somewhere. Just, um, you have this, and it's like a little plastic oh, okay. thing. So you just okay, pull it up. Okay, I got then, you. I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna start off with um, prepping the uh, container. This is like a glass, a glass pan. Um, you guys already know from the recent video. I get my pans and pots mixed up. So um, this is a pan, and I am going to put olive oil around, okay? So you just want to make sure it gets all, I just do a little ziggle zaggle all up, like across the pan. So, okay then. So you got like a little trick, huh, that you do. Yep. <laughs> a routine that you do, huh? Yep, there. you already know. Boo, boo. And then. So cold water or hot water? It does not matter. Hot water, hot water takes all the way to, you know. Okay, so you got some olive oil and everything. 
And then we're going to sprinkle some thyme, thyme, y'all. Oh, this feels crazy. It feels crazy? Uh -huh. You could take it out the thing and rinse it one by one. Okay. So, um, we're just going to take some of this right here. Now, all you want to do is just sprinkle it across the uh, pan. Just sprinkle it. Even in the olive oil, it does not matter. Just sprinkle it. And this gives it a little, you know, Italian taste, whatever y'all want to call it. Uh, it's like a basil or like a um, parsley. You can use parsley. You can use basil. You can use, uh, I forgot the what the leaves are called. But yeah, so like I said, it's no rules into cooking as long as you like it and your man like it. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right, baby? That's right, baby. This is the tour here. See, that's fine. So now we want to bake at the chicken. Yes, bake I got at the chicken. chicken. Yes. So, babe, chicken. I need one more favor, okay? What you want me to do? What you want me to do? <laughs> Okay, do? so just use this and mm -hmm. take this and just sprinkle it around like that. I can do that, that's easy. So I'm sprinkling around with it. Oh, it's strong. It's strong. Mm -hmm. It smells like onion. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's baby, yeah, that's a lot. Okay, so. Yeah. So we're going to use the minced garlic and he's just going to, uh, you know, put it around the uh, pan. Mm -hmm. You know, what I do best. Yes, sir. Then while he's doing that, I'm going to take the lemons and then I'm going to cut half just for the juice to sprinkle over the chicken. But then I'm going to cut thinly slices of lemon that's to right. put over the chicken. Yes, that's perfect. I know, man. Chef boy. Not here. <laughs> I do my thing in the kitchen. I do my thing. I know that's right, baby. That actually smells good, though. Still, like it's. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Can't wait to eat, huh? Mm -hmm. I did eat one of these. I want to know if Callie would Callie eat one of these. She's not about to eat that. <laughs> I want to know what she would do. Callie is bougie, y'all. My dog, let me tell y'all about my dog. My dog is very bougie. She. Does not like vegetables. No vegetables. She does not like fruits. She does not. What else she don't like? I don't like fruits, vegetables. Like them, I think them the two main things. Yeah, those are two main or things. Plain chips, like potato chips, stuff like that. Mm -mm. She wants salt. She needs flavor. Mm -hmm. Like she like hot. Mm hmm. We had yeah, hot, um, hot flaming. She turned it up. She like mm -hmm. hot flaming. She like uh she like slim gems. Oh, she, she likes does. slim gems. Oh, so. she goes crazy over slim gems. So, babe, you want to make these like this? Just put it zigzag like this, and then up. Like okay. This, like that. Closer a little bit. Just so you can see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Now you can become a cook. No, I, I ain't like no y'all. I could cook. I don't know my baby do it. I can't cook because baby can cook for me. Oh, no, so. <laughs> you don't listen to your name. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're going to actually bit. put the chicken onto the pan. All right, you guys. So we're going to take the chicken off the little, you know, container. Now you're already rinsed these. And then, oh, this is a big one. That's a big boy. So, you just want to, you know, put holes in them just so it can cook all the way through. And so, when you put some lemon juice into them, it will, you know, marinate in. So, you can taste it inside the chicken. You mm -hmm. feel me? And then you just want to place it on top. Just like that. Just do the same thing with this one. Put some holes. Again, and we have one more. Nair's gonna eat two. I'm gonna just eat one. Let me put the hose in there, baby. Hmm? Let me do it. Okay, that's fine. Put that hole in there, baby. It's all around there, you feel me? Mm hmm. So now this will be mine, baby. 
That's cool. Mm-hmm. I put lots, did I? And then take this and sprinkle this over. Over them? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Yes. Right. And then take the orange, the lemon juice and then just squeeze. This one? Over the top. Yep. All over. Yep. There you go. Say hi, Kat. You kid. Mwah. Thank you. I think Kat thinks she got some food right here. Mm. <laughs> All right. No more? No, that's perfect. Perfect. Yep. All right. All right, so we're going to put these in the oven, and then we're going to start on our potatoes and our asparagus. All right, you guys, so look at the chicken. We're going to put it in. It's already uh, preheated, so you just want to put it onto 225 just so it can cook all the way through. So I'm going to take the minced garlic, and I'm going to just sprinkle some over the chicken. You guys, this lemon is very strong. It's making my nose itch. But, yes, yeah, so we're going to, you know, sprinkle a little bit of garlic on top like I said this is very strong so you don't need a lot and this just gives it an extra flavor and also what I do like to do I like to add a little bit of um, let's see okay I think I'm out but I use I usually like to add a little bit of the Italian uh, seasoning but it's a it's okay um, that's perfect so next, what you want to do is how you cook asparagus. It doesn't take a rocket science. It's very easy. So what you want to do is, let me rinse this off. It's clean, don't worry. It's the only thing going to sink. So you want to cut off the wood, the hard part of the asparagus. So you want to cut off to right here. This is garbage. You could just throw it right back in the bag so you don't have to walk away. This is garbage. You can take off these little rubber bands. And then that's your asparagus. But first, before we add it into the pan, we want to add our olive oil. And we can put this in the oven right now. So leave that in there for 30 minutes. It'll be good. So we just want to add our olive oil into the pan. If I can get this to open. Okay, I got it. And then you just want to add, you know, a decent amount. Take a half a tablespoon of garlic. Put it in there. You can add a little extra. I like to add a little extra. Then we're gonna put it on the stove and let it simmer up. And then we're gonna add some black pepper as well. So once the olive oil is, once the olive oil is, you know, uh, watery or like more liquid, cause right now it's thick, like you can see it's barely moving. But usually you will know that it's done is when, you know, it's um, clear. And then we can add the asparagus. So with the potatoes, you just wanna cut. I'm gonna show you guys how to just cut them. I'm gonna show you how to cut one and then I can finish the rest off camera or a time lapse. And then you just wanna wait until the water boils. It's already on the stove. So I'm gonna rinse this very, 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 very good. And then you just want to cut into four. So go straight down the middle. Bam! We got some potatoes. And we're going to make them boil. And then we're going to add our ranch. And then it's going to be so good. Ain't that right, Kelly? Ain't that right, girl? Ain't that right, girl? She ready to eat. So there it goes. I'll see you guys once we check up on the food. So we can go ahead and add the butter into the water because it's like, you know, boiling. And this will give the um, potatoes a little bit of flavor. So I just add like, you know, a big thing. And then it will melt. 
and then we can add like pepper, salt, whatever, once it's like the water starts to evaporate up. But I'm gonna add water in here and then we're gonna wait and we can check on it. All right, you guys, so the potatoes are done. The asparagus always takes longer to, you know, cook, but it's almost there. We have to wait for the water evaporate. But y'all know that's my favorite word, evaporate. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm gonna take the butter and I'm gonna just, you know, butter up my um, potatoes. And I have this ranch seasoning. This is spicy. You can get it at Kroger's or whatever. And then I just like, you know, sprinkle it across. We're just gonna add the seasoning. It smells so good. You think so, babe? Mm-hmm. We can mix this up. Show them the chicken. About done? Or still look white? Still white. Still white? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to throw these in the um, oven. Oopsie, I made a little mess. It's fine. Okay. So I'm going to just throw these in the oven just so they can bake a little bit after they boil. And then they will be done. Let's look at this chicken. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna make room for little potatoes, okay? Don't try to take all the heat. <laughs> all right, you guys, so our food is done. Finally. Hold on, wait. Yeah, I ain't trying to burn myself. So I'm gonna need something to grab this other side. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Ooh, you guys, look at there. So, we got some goody stuff. We got some asparagus. My fave. We got some, you know, chicken, chicken, chicken. We got some um, cheesy potatoes. So, babe, you ready to dig in? I'm ready to dig in, baby. Yes. Are you ready, ready to end out the video? Ready to yeah. dig in? Yep. Let's end it out. All right, you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. And make sure you guys <laughs> turn on post notifications so you can enter a post notification shout out at the end of the video. Also, not only that, so you guys can get notified every time we upload. But with that being said, hold on. I got something in my eye. Comment below. And with that being said, post notification shout out goes to post notification shout out goes to Isha Black. She said, I wait every day for my notifications to go off because I know it's about to be a banger that's dropping. So with that being said, thank you so much, girl, for subscribing to our channel and turning on post notifications and um, making sure you be the first to comment. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment when done. And with that being said, we love you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. One plus one, that's you and me. You perfect, you perfect. You look good, baby, you a queen. You worth it, you deserve it, yeah. I'ma put away my phone, baby. Trying to get you out the slums, put you on, baby. I'ma take you to the mall, what you want, baby. Trying to get you out them jeans, girl, we grown, baby.